Any second. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so bad at a buy. So, uh, and Derpy Cat's true. So let's look at the other favorite. So Macros is a mage. And there's pre-med by, uh, that's, what is your name? Bingo, bingo cat. Out comes the, uh, godlike Velen and the, uh, Zeus. This is looking like it's going to be a stomp right now. And there's a rune, there's a crit. Oh, Zeus is almost dead if lightning mage hits him. And Lightning Mage hits Velen and reflects into the, her face. Macros' turn, out comes Kane. And units advance, Zeus uh, zapping down the mage. The mage is now dead. Card count, six cards, six five. It's the huge field advantage to Macros. Here, out comes the Demon Hunter, Azrael. Azrael going to finish off Zeus and do some damage to Velen. Possibly kill it if double crits. And there goes Zeus. Macros with five cards. Scorch on the Demon Hunter. Another rune. This 15 second clock really gets to some people. Out comes Freja. And uh, Meditation. That six damage Velen is really going to do work. Swift Death. Double Stab blocks. That's unfortunate. And a Disinfo on the Freja. Macros is going to do nothing. Kane. Legendary Palace and an Augustus. Block the lanes down. But that Velen is just going to slowly pick away. There's a Petrify. And the Scorch. 12 damage with the crit. Wow. 29 health left. Damn. Bingo in trouble here. There's the godlike Frenus, did not expect that. As uh, Scorch. On the Palestina and Freja is back out. That disinfo. Another crit. 14 health left for Bingo. One more crit and he's done. Out comes the Fire Lady. Fire Lady can't even hit Velen. This is looking like it's game here. Kane's dead. And Petrify on the godlike Fenris. And a uh, Fire Rune. He looks like he's playing godlike Fire Rune. 7 health left for Bingo. He's going to have to clear right now with a double stab or a tango of some sort. And that's uh, game one. Game one goes to Macros. No surprise there. No surprise at all. Let's uh, quickly look in on another match here. Sebastian and Ryan. It looks like there's what? Itchy. That match is over. Giliantia is looking in trouble here with that uh, godlike Odin in her face, or his face. Priest winning. Wow. Shocker. 16 health left. And uh, out goes Augustus summoning more horsemen. And here, Ryan won first, won one of his games because of uh, Teriel. And Zeus just doing some zapid damage. A uh, crit from the Val. Five health left for Juliana. And that's game. Game one goes to Devil. And Macros' game should start soon. There's uh, two other games going on. Looks like Silent is losing this one. He's going to have trouble clearing that winged emperor. And uh, back to the fixtures here. So Bad's through. Chris is through. 
plumbers through already. That was fast. And Derpy Cat got a bye. Games are going so very fast here. Just waiting for Macros and Bingo to start again. Match just started here. Sky versus Sandra is going to be a long one. And uh, Macros and Bingo are back at it. There goes Bingo summoning the Darius. Did he switch decks? Yes, he did. He switched uh, Rush deck. And uh, Macros playing power. There goes out the Maya. And Swift Raid is going to crit. Nope, just 10 damage. Macros turn, and he likes to end it. Here goes Bingo. And another end. Three more damage. Macros. Looking real good for Macros right now. He's got five cards and Bingo down to three. Out comes a cane to block a lane. Bingo's got nothing. Just a rune on the cane and out comes Terriel. Macros should have something by now. He has six cards in his hand. Dig on the Darius. Cane's going to walk forward. Out comes Blessed Dragonkin. Oh, and a crit on Terriel. That is most unfortunate for Bingo. Again, a huge favor to Macros here. There goes the Blessed Dragon and the Cane are advancing. Back to Bingo. What can he do? Can he clear? Does he have a rune? Nope. There goes the godlike Fenris, though. He's got an open lane. Macros has blocked bottom. There's a pet. And he got it back. There goes Blessed Dragonkin. Bingo has a lane open. Four cards, though. And he elects not to go. This is looking like Macros has the game here. And oh, it should be a clean sweep. There's the meditation. He's got seven. What is he holding on to? Did he just meditate with a full hand? Here, here comes a myth and a swift raid. And no crit. I think he's trying to give Bingo a chance here. And the petrify. What what do you have in your hand? Just all skills, I guess. Out comes Lucius. Just going to ping Macros in the face. And there's the legendary King Vel. Walk a lane. Mac Bingo still has top to go. Four cards. And Lucius is killed by Vel. Macros again does not play. Just ending and ending. Six cards. Like, what is going on here? I'm so confused. Bingo has to go now. You've had an open lane for so many turns. What are you waiting for? There's the dig, and it's a little late. And no crit. Crit wouldn't have killed him. And there's a Scorch and the Soran. And that's game. You have a clear for bottom and another unit for crit? Nope, that's that's game. Wow, I've, I haven't seen a, a stall against a rusher like that. <laughs> Ever. That was uh, quite something. Okay, so that will be... Uh, a clean sweep for Makos, and the two favorites are through to the first round. Let's see, uh, Jelani and Devil. I believe it's one nothing for Devil. Two Rileys out on the field here, coming in the middle of the match. Looking at a Sky River, there's a Kane out, there's a Val, uh, Desperate Soul. Out oh, comes Smash Out. Everything just heading that Sank to uh, Val. That's 15 second clock gets to people. It is not a lot of time to think. Out comes Cancer. And a block on the Smite on the Smash of Rolk. This is not as an exciting game as the other one.
There goes the meditation for uh, Juliana. And looks like uh, Devil is just running out of health here. Devil's three cards and not it's not much uh, not much Devil can do here. He's getting Bane down. Oh, okay, there you go. Gets rid of the uh, King Bell and Bane of their own. Just <laughs> Riley versus Riley, and Devil losing the uh, HP battle here, and summons a Fenris to lose even more, but it's going to get rid of that Bane, so it's got a chance here. And the Armageddon, a couple of locks though. Riley's gone, so it's going to take a little bit longer now. Out comes Yumi, there's Tempest, and Desperate Soul advancing. Huge field advantage to Juliana. Devil does not have a play, and Desperate Soul going to hit in the face. This four damage, no crit, and this game is looking very over. Looks like it's going to be 1-1. One, one. I think, anyways. Yeah, that's 1-1. One, one. See a napkin versus Itchy. I don't know the score here. Oh, Scratchy. Change the name. I. Alright, guys, change your name. Ooh. So there's a Void step on the field and uh, Riley doing Bane damage. Archangel versus Archangel. One godlike, one legendary. This is looking like it's a Power versus power match. And just getting uh, Bane down. There goes Void Step. Six damage. Huge advantage for Scratchy here in HP. As long as that Void Step stays alive. Then Scratchy should win. But if it's killed. An Afghan might have enough time to push down the bottom lane. He's working on killing that Archangel. There goes Tesla's, and that Archangel with the crit is dead. So Napkin is pushing, but 25 health left. There goes a Swift Death. Scratchy Swift Death. Ranger versus Ranger Power. Scratchy just needs to hold down that top lane. No crit, so three hits left for a Napkin. If it doesn't take care of the Vaunt Levante right away. Not going to be able to, but pushes down the bottom lane. Looking for a crit here, Scratchy. Oh, and he's he's able to stall enough. So Scratchy looks like he's going to win this game with that Zeus and the uh, Caitlyn play. And Apkin down to 10 HP and in desperation mode now. There goes the double stab. Do you have a rune? There's the rune. Still got to take care of Zeus. And 64 HP to 10. This would be a miracle win. Oh, stun on Zeus. There is hope left. Hope yet. One card for an Afghan that Swift Death looks like it keeps coming back. One card in hand. Just huge push from the bottom lane, but it may be too late. This is an exciting match to watch. And sudden death time. He's got uh, nine turns to finish off Scratchy. He's going to have to take care of that angel too pretty quick. There's Chief Warden. And Scratchy just going to try and stall down. He's getting pushed in both lanes real hard, but 59, 60 HP. And Napkin's got eight turns, but he's totally in his face. This is going to be real close. Can he out DPS? Scratchy stolen for sudden death. Oh, a minute left in the match. I didn't even notice. 
Don't stall out. Looks like a napkin might actually have this if there wasn't a time limit. And there's the double stab. Oh, this is going to come down to the final moments. 12 HP left. Can he stall it enough? He's got 30 seconds. He's going to run down the clock, and Napkin's just going to have to end his turn as soon as possible. And here he goes to the stall. 20 seconds left on the clock. Can he pull it off with 4 HP left? 4 HP or the 6 HP? Wow, and Napkin manages to pull that one out of his ass. Well done. And that looks like that is 1-1 uh, there. Juliana and Devil's final match here. Juliana has a... Wow. I didn't even see that. Looks like Juliana won. Hands through. There's uh, Mike versus Tricky Shadow here. Probably 1-1 one, one in score. That was that was uh, quite a fun match to watch. I'm just going to look to see who still has matches left here. So, Pad and Afro, unless they are not playing at all. Lumiere and Payans. I'm going to be watching Napkin and Itchy. That was just an exciting match out of nowhere. Out of bloody nowhere. Oh, man. Ooh. This is looking like a slower pace match here. Mike versus Tricky. There's uh, four minutes left on the clock. Health advantage goes to Mike right now. Just kind of catch my breath after that. Oh, man. There's out, out comes the green heist. I got to check and see if uh, those two are back. I'm not missing that match for a second. Looks like the other two are buys, and looks like Ryan has a buy there in a second match. And a napkin and itch, you're in. Here they go. Out comes Fenris. It's scratchy switch decks. Nope. It's power versus power. Godlike Fenris dropped. First thing to watch. And there's a rune crit. And Fenris going to hit a napkin for 8 damage in the face. Here comes Chief Warden. And a blessing to Elvid Samurai. You don't see those too often. There's a double stab on the Fenris. And there goes Aurelia. Does not stun Fenris, and there's a true shot. And a ward, Chief Warden is dead, as is the elf. Looks like Scratchy has field advantage here. Napkin going to try and hold down that Fenris. Jeez, with Riley the White Witch. Riley does not crit. And Napkin going to take some major damage. 14. Okay, Fenris still is going to die here. Hopefully. Okay, Fenris dead. Napkin clears out that threat. Five cards in hand. Scratchy has four. Scratchy's really pushing hard this time. There goes a Swift Death. Last last game, Swift Death's almost one scratch of the game. Scratchy Ryan winding down the clock. There goes Demon Hunter, Yumi, and Old Fagger all across the field. And the looks like a godlike rune on Demon Hunter. Riley cannot hold down that line. Out comes Demon Hunter, six damage to Napkin's face. And Smashy stuck behind Yumi. Smashy gonna smash. There goes Kalethus, just doing some damage to Yumi and Smashy. And Napkin's holding the line somehow. After that first onslaught. 38 to 55 health. There goes Smashy and Yumi clearing. Top lane. Riley just camping in the back. And there's that Gabriel going to Heal everything up. 
you're actually going to have to try and take care of that Gabriel as soon as possible. As it just heals everything. And Scratchy Stalin. Three health left for Gab. There's a Winged Emperor and the Elven Legionnaire. Looks like the field advantage is switching to a napkin. And a block. And Smashy advances in the top lane. Bottom lane being pushed real hard. Scratchy at six cards, but unable to deal with the Winged Emperor and the Gabriel. Gabriel just healing everything up. Such a power card. There goes the uh, Skyweaver, and here comes the Winged Emperor, pushing down the bottom lane. Demon Hunter in the top. Demon Hunter going to hit Smashy. Double block, and Smashy going to go forward. There goes Yumi. There goes Smashy, and a block. Bottom lane almost cleared through. Smashy going to die. Nope. Smashy will get one hit in. One good hit. Scratchy just trying, just trying to hold that bottom line, but he's, he's got, he's got nothing there. The winged emperor just too strong. OP, please nerf. It looks like a napkin has this here. He's just gonna push down that bottom lane and Gabriel is just gonna heal everything up. His Riley managed to stay alive the whole time. Scratchy's, uh, early power versus, uh, a napkin's, uh, or early rush versus Napkin's late power. And that birdie going to finish off the Eakin in the bottom lane. Spears just, and just Bale is just getting cleaned up. Six cards are scratchy, but he can't clear any of those two cards in his face. Bale making zombies and uh, Winged Emperor just eating them. This game is over. And Winged Emperor just growing stronger as Bale makes more zombies. That heal with the Judge Alexander, just not enough. Out comes uh, Winged Emperor and Augustus, but too little, too late. Uh, Winged Emperor just going to keep eating those zombies and going powerful. Two turns left, one if a crit. And Scratchy down to 6 HP. Just gonna dig all his cards and play a Terial. Why not? End in style. And a finish with a unicorn. Gotta love that classy move there. Okay. Looks like round one is done. Bad through. Napkin through. Bad got to buy. Chris didn't end up seeing any of his matches. Anum, Tricky Shadow, Kleister, Plumber, The Hados, Macros, Scratchy. What? I'm so confused. Scratchy threw and Scratchy got knocked. Derpy Cat threw. Looks like Derpy Cat has a buy and Ryan has a buy. Juliana has a match against Isath in the bottom. And I'm wondering who to watch. Probably going to look at the two favorite matches here. Nacros Plumber. I want to watch Na uh, Napkin and Bad. And Macros and Scratchy. Refreshing here.
expression like mad looks like I am too eager. Just got to calm down after that. Those matches just end so quickly. I will be doing the gold giveaway after the stream is over. So this is bad versus napkin. Out comes War Totem. And the War Totem is promptly deadly blowed. Uh, Romeo and Juliet on the field for a bad. Mage versus Ranger. That horse, though. Here comes Napkins Riley that won him the last game. Haven't seen bad play, so I don't know what kind of cards he has. This is going to be a slower match, looks like, right now. This player's taking their time. Ooh, that's beautiful. Godlike Tangu Bloodseeker on the field. Trying to finish that Romeo and Juliet combo, but no luck. Romeo and Juliet, the most troll cards in the game. And the crit with the double stab, and they should be dead. Yes, and Romeo and Juliet will be dead. What is bad waiting for you? Seven cards, possibly holding for Armageddon. There he goes, there's the Armageddon. Clears the entire field. Couple of crits there, six cards to five. Bad with the card advantage, bad with the health advantage, and it's bad, sir. Now comes an old fagger. Old faggot's like to say, and a godlike Freena Drake. There's a life rune on the old faggot, and march forward they do. Add to Stempho on the Freena. Not going to stop for too long. You do what you can. Out comes Smash in the bottom lane. And it's not concerned. Here comes his spear. His Alvin Rebel. It's not a spear, sorry. And it does uh, three damage to old faggot. And... Judge Caitlin on the field. Not like Bad needs the HP right now. Bad pushing down top. There's a Swift Death. Napkin trying for the Swift Death this time. Let's see. Bad is at six cards. Freena comes back out, and it looks like Bad is in complete control of this game. And out comes Napkin's uh, Freena Drake. I speak too soon. And his uh, legend, our godlike Archangel Gabriel. I'm waiting for a pet here. Waiting for a pet on Freena. Otherwise, that bottom lane is just stalled out. Nope. Lightning Tempest. And a pet. There it is. Doesn't finish off the Angel, which is a huge problem, as it's just going to heal itself. Napkin, not sure what to do. He'll just end his turn. Angel back up to 11 HP. And Bad cannot finish it off. But bottom lane being pushed. Napkin going to need a deadly blow for that Smash Valk or just let it through. And Fire Rune, crit. And there goes Freena. Napkin looking like he's in decent position. Bad still has five cards. Still trying to take down that Gabriel. That Scorch is not doing it. I wonder if there's been enough time that Gabriel's on the field for the field advantage to change. There goes a pet on Demon Hunter. And out comes Aurelia. And Kane. And Zeus. Field advantage bad. And still trying to scorch down that Gabriel. Will Zeus finish the job is the question. No, he will not. Two health left on that Gabriel. There's a deadly blow on the Smasher Rolk. And a spear out. Fortunately, Caitlyn will finish off that Gabriel. And looking like huge field advantage to Bad, he's just pushing. It's only a matter of time now. Not a whole lot of napkin can do to stall. There's a swift death, that helps. Zeus cleaning up. Clean up an Isle Zeus, everyone. Napkin winding down his turn. There goes out a Desperate Soul and Augustus. Not over yet. There's a pet in Augustus. And here comes Riley. Zeus zapping everything. Desperate Soul, the only thing 
left alive in that top lane. There goes Kane, but Kane will reanimate next turn. Zeus down to 4 HP. There's a life rune. And slowly, Napkin is losing health to Bane and Thunder. There's 5 minutes left, and there's 30 health advantage for Bad. Out comes Kleista and another one of those uh, Legionnaires. Zeus probably going to die on this turn. And he's gone. I just don't think a napkin's going to have enough time with that sudden death, even if he can push back. Here comes his godlike Velen. And that Fire Rune crit on Riley the White Witch. Bad taking his time here. Wow, there's another one. Another swift death on bad. Is that what's going to take? A whole ton of swift deaths for napkins to push through. Nine cards left to nine cards. Bad trying to stall down the clock. Velen with Reflect. Riley going to die this turn. Here comes the uh, godlike winged emperor. And looks like a napkin has bad on his heels. There's the Tempest. It might come down to cards. Ooh, that's an important Val. He's going to be hard to clear. Field advantage back to bad. There goes Kane. Birdie going to eat him. Napkin down to 21 HP, and that Demon Hunter is back from his Petrify. Let's see what time on the guess is. Four turns left. And four cards for bad, six cards for a napkin. So it could come down to card count. Only problem is that Val is really tough to get rid of at this point, especially with 14 health from that life rune. He's just praying that Augustus will come back. Napkin just praying. And the crit just stops that in motion. Here comes a Gork. Oh my. Gork going to have the Retaliate. Should be enough to finish off Vel. But will he die is the question. Oh, and a dig. And just run down the clock. Two minutes left. There goes a swift death again. Gork going to start dealing damage. Two minutes left. Bad could probably stall this out. And he'll try. It was a nice dig, and stalling is a strategy, not one that I enjoy, but it is a strategy nonetheless. A minute 30, and Napkin pulled off a anti-stall last time. He doesn't Archangel Maximus out. I don't think that Bad needs to stall, but you do what you gotta do, I guess. There goes Gork, three more damage to Bad. And that Judge Caitlin going to heal up a napkin. Godlike, if he gets through. Bad with one card left. Oh, man. Minute left to make up a 30 health difference. And your turn, napkin. This is just some BS stall right here. 33 to 14, 47 seconds left. Looks like a napkin is a uh, victim to stall a lot. 
And here he goes with the heal up. Two. Twelve health difference. And now uh, Bat is not stalling now that he knows that he can out DPS. Oh man, 18 to 19, what health difference here? End your turn, Napkin. Oh, so close. 19 to 11. And Bad takes that first match. Looking at Macros and Scratchy, thought, well, that battle's over. Ryan's through with a bye. Derpy Cat's through with a bye. Macros through already, just tears through. Top four on the right hand side already through. Plumber and the Hados. There looks like there's no battles right now. Plumber's through. That was a long battle. And batted a napkin. Looks like we're going to have to wait. And there's one match. Tricky Shadow versus Polister. Looks like it's Spike versus Power. And Kleister running a Pegasus Rider. Oh, that is just glorious. Epic Pegasus Rider. I have, I did not think I would ever see that in finals. This is why I love the European server. Out comes the spear to clear away that Pega. And another Elven Samurai. Elven Samurai seem to be very popular on the server. And Fenris trying to clear that Samurai, but can't. It looks like Tricky has the anti-rush down here with that Vel in the bottom lane. Callister down to one card, and I just think this is over. I'm going to look and see if there's another match on. Napkin and Batter back. There's the Deadly Blow on the Ziva after Ziva comes out. Six cards to Bad, six cards to Napkin. We'll be moving an inch. There goes Riley and Chief Warden. One Bane. That was a real close match last time. There goes Tanwen. And a Life Rune on Chief Warden. It's a little bit slower here, so I can catch my breath. There's Swift Death on uh, Bad. Yeah, and out comes the godlike, godlike Velen. Do some reflection. Here's a Freena Drake in the bottom lane for Bad. I don't know if that was too early, but Napkin just has to let it advance a bit and then take it out. That's a beautiful villain. Now an Napkin should be able to take care of that. Green on the bottom lane. Here comes Bale. Does he have the arm again ready? That would be quite something if they lined up just like that. Armageddon for one card. And another Swift Death. Oh, can Smashy, but Smashy not going to smash. No, he is. Oh, he does have the range. Okay, I didn't know that. I thought it was... That's my mistake. Out comes Zeus for bad. A napkin sitting on seven cards, though. 
and Zeus hitting a napkin in the face with a crit. There's the double stab. Takes care of Chief Ward. And here comes a Terial. Interesting to put a Terial in a, a power deck. You see it a fair amount, but it's just interesting. You gotta, you gotta get the health down somehow because people stall out in ones. There's only 10 minutes. You've got a void step. You play your void step. And Bale almost in Napkin's face, but he, he had a plan all along, that Gork right there. And, uh, Terriel and both the, uh, Blood Seeker are, stu are stunned. Smashing in advance, though. I would have dug the Terriel. One less zombie. And there's a pet on Gork. Bad's looking like he's in a real good position. There goes the zombie. And out comes the Archangel. Zeus is gonna hit, uh, Napkin in the face with a crit again. Huge field advantage. Oh, and out comes the birdie. Counter bail. Nicely done. And a swift death. Beautiful counter. Smash, you're going to smash, but not for a whole lot there as that angel just cleaning them up with the holy damage. Pet. Counter, counter. Pet on the wing damper. And Zeus going to crit again. And Zeus go bye-bye with rune. Not much on the field here. Napkin just has to wait for his uh, petted cards to come back if he can last that long. That's the problem. And there goes the more totem with the distract. So Spear is going to try and take care of that Archangel. Not that it matters. He's going to do zero damage to Napkin. Huge health advantage for Bad, about 40. That field advantage going to Napkin. And out comes Demon Hunter. So much going on in once. It's it's amazing. 15 seconds is just glorious. That angel's still doing no damage to Napkin. And he's gone. Desperate Soul holding the top line for Bad. He's going to try and push with an angel behind. Gotta kill that uh, statue. Six turns left. He's not coming back. Bale's come back from his disinfo. I missed that. But I imagine he got disinfoed. And a napkin will just ruin it. He'll ruin it. It's been ruined. And he'll disinfo his own gork. I think there was a return on the disinfo. Uh, five cards from a napkin's hand. Bad has four. And the Juliet almost killing Desperate Soul. Out comes Wolf Hager to tank behind uh, Bale. And Life Rune on Desperate Soul to keep him alive for one turn. He should be dead next. Nope. He will not be dead next turn unless there's a crit on Juliet. Oh, and his zombie reanimates. There's no even chance for that. Bale down to 5 HP. Napkin still hanging on here, despite that battle drum. There's four minutes left in the match. It's one nothing bad. Out comes another zombie. Napkin gonna dig that Romeo, and here comes Aphrodina. No cr oh, crit on the bale. Finish off the bale. Napkin, 16 turns left. Russia. I've been giving this one to Bad right now. Just He just got enough damage off early that he should be able to finish, and he's got that healer. Out comes Gork again, and Romeo and Juliet advancing. And there's a rune on the judge. But it's it's looking like it's Bad's game right now. Bad's game to lose. With the, just a pat on the Gork again. It's He's just run down the clock as well. And getting rid of that Romeo for sure.
things slowing down here. Napkin gets out his uh, Archangel Gabriel, but he's going to need a, a healer out just, just, just to stand a chance. 13 turns left. And uh, two minutes. Another swift death. Bad probably just won't play anything top lane. And then that will be game. He's just going to run out the clock again. What do you guys think of the matches so far? Bad just still stalling here. Gork with zero damage. Napkin can't really amp him up. He's got a minute 24. Bad can't block top. Otherwise, he's going to suffer huge consequences. He's going to have to wait one turn and then put something in the third spot. Out comes the Freena. Gork doing no damage. And Bad's just going to simply put something in the third spot. Oh, there's a crit. 33 to 9. And 58 seconds left. Bad knew that he needed to stall like 10 turns ago. So he started. And there's a Yumi. If a napkin has a deadly blow... There's Terio. Oh, and the deadly blow! 38 seconds. Not enough time, though. 23 health to 5. Again, for the fourth game in a row, Napkin just getting stalled out. Twenty one HP to four, and that's the end of the clock. Bad wins on a stall. Sheesh. Just quick looking at the mist lands to see who's see how far along they are. We'll be able to watch should be able to watch the finals. There's still eight minutes here. Eight minutes there. Hopefully we'll be able to watch, I'll be able to catch both finals, at least. So let's see who's made it to the final eight. Ryan coming through with a bye. Derpy Cat coming through with a bye. Juliana taking out Seth. Macros taking out Scratchy. Bad stolen out napkin. Chris didn't really see much of him. Taken out Amon Seth. Tricky Shadow through Kalister. And Plummer through the Hados. I'm giving the bottom to Plummer, top to Bad, top right to Macros. And I want to see Ryan go through, but I think Juliana will. I hope you're all enjoying yourself so far. Nice to take a breath, though. And they're off. Who to watch? Marcos Derpy Cat, Ryan Juliana. Let's watch Ryan. Itchy. What is going on?
changing names all over the place. Itchy with the spike here. Juliana with the anti-spike. Three cards in hand. There goes the pet. Soren advancing. But she can't clear anything here. He could play... Okay. There's the godlike Darius. That's not bad. Godlike Fenris, godlike Darius. Rushing down the bottom. It's more of a rush than a spike, it looks like so far. Juliana's got seven seconds left to play to block that bottom lane. Oh, there's a Tempest. And a Fire Rune. Not enough for the Darius. There's 10 damage to Itchy, though. Darius, they're going to fall short. Still tough to deal with. It's 550. Oh, there's Desperate Soul. Top lane open for Itchy to go. Nope, Romeo going to be in the top lane. And another crit. Itchy taking time. He's going to rune down Juliet, and that should be it. Oh, there's a Terriel. Well, it looks like uh, Juliet is out DPSing Itchy right now with the constant crits in the face. And it looks like Juliana has this here. Just great counter. Itchy should dig the Maya. And Romeo and Juliet just pounding down Itchy. And Desperate Soul through in the bottom. This looks like Juliana is going to win game one. 13 health left. Yeah, it's over. Five, eight, ten. Game, game. And that's it. Juliana with the first win there. And let's see Macro Stirpy Cat, see how they're doing. Stirpy Cat holding off. Macros with a fencing master and a high lady. Of course, a desperate soul. Macros, though, with seven cards. Derpy only with three. And a pet on the desperate soul. Fenner's going to smash that to pieces. Soren in the top lane. Not many people play with high lady curry. It's decent in. Twos, I don't think so much in ones. Lots of spears on the server. Lots of spears. Macros with a huge field advantage. Derpy got nothing but a pet desperate soul. And just he's just marching down the field. Six cards to none. And a healer. This is over. There's just about nothing that Derpy Cat could do here as a ranger. There's just too many creatures. There are too many creatures on the field. This is going to stall a little bit with Chief Warden and hmm, stun on Fenris, but it's not enough. Just going to power through and heal up. Scorchy Scorch. Spear doing some action. And another block with Fenris. Uh, take your time, Derpy Cat. I'm sorry that I've lost faith in you, but it just looks like a slog right now. Romeo and Juliet in Derby Cat's face now. And just the Fenris to defend the Lions and Spears just taking them down. Deadly blow on the Fenris. You got some nice milk. You're gonna milk yourself. And a disinfo on the Angel. 
still you have Romeo and Juliet in your face. And you have that spear. And then Todd like Velen. And that's game. Macros will win that one. And Ryan and Juliana are back. Juliana playing with two Sorans. And looking like has a field advantage again. Opened up from the top for uh, Itchy here. Or Ryan. There's... Oh my god. Like in courage. Juliana down to 29 health with a 7-3. Ooh, and a crit on the Maya. Gotta dig that myth next turn. Can Juliana do anything about the Maya? Oh, there's a spear. Okay. This is a close match. Fenner should take care of that spear. And the Howler in the bottom. Juliana just getting rushed down here. No crit on the Fire Rune. Can do anything about Fenris. Doesn't look like it. It's all going to come down to next turn or a crit. Oh, oh, double in courage. Doesn't come down to that at all. And a crit. Overkill. 1-1. One, one. Well done, Itchy. Bad and Chris, there's two minutes left on the clock. Mage versus Mage, so it's a long game. Haven't seen much of Chris, but I've seen a lot of bad. And Chris has a that uh, godlike villain in Bad's face. Why are there so many godlike villains on this server? Ten life advantage for uh, Bad over Chris, and he's in his classic stall play. Not going to work against Velen, though, as it just reflects that damage. Going to go back and see if the third game of Ryan Juliana is on yet. Nope, not yet. Soon, though. Don't want to miss that. This looks like the first game. Still 10 health advantage. I want to see the end of it, but I won't be able to. Chris just needs some Bane. He's got seven cards. Maybe dropping an Armageddon soon. We won't find out though, will we? And zap on the Kalista. Ruin on the Kalista. And he's hoping that the Thunder Mage will finish off bad in the HP department. Back to Ryan and Juliana. And here we go. There's a Maya off the bat. And a rune. And a Sagittarius. Standard rush. Out comes that godlike Fenris. That seemed to be seeing a lot of. Going to take care of that Sagittarius with the crit. Here comes the Teriel and the Myth. No crit on the Myth. 48 health for Juliana. No problem. You don't see too many warrior rushes like You see ranger rushes like this, but I haven't seen too many warrior rushes like this. And that Teriel going to go bye-bye with so many spears. Ooh, interesting. Godlike Encourage on the Myth. Not going to hold it for another card. There goes 
excuse me, a werewolf howler in the bottom lane. There's a rune on Myth. Juliana still not able to kill it, but Deep freezes. Double crit. 32 damage. Nope. Not happening. Itchy looks like he's in a real tough spot here. He's going to have trouble clearing the any lane. Do you have another Encourage? Doesn't look like it. 11 damage, not over yet, but pretty much. That was a close one. 13 HP to 3. Not as exciting as the other one, but close nonetheless. So Juliana will go through. Nice job. That uh, counter rush. Haven't seen much of Plummer. Plummer down to 4 HP and trying to hold the line here. This would be an impressive victory. Come back from 4 HP when Tricky had 40. But Volante going to be taken care of right away. And Plummer is going to get uh, sudden death out. Unless he has some sort of angel up his sleeve or something. But I don't think so. Plumber down to 1 HP here. Or, sorry, 2. No sudden death yet. I thought there was. 4 minutes left in the battle. Just a matter of time now. 1 HP left for Plumber. And it's over. Sudden death. Looks like Macro's through in the top. Macro's against Juliana, and Bad and Chris are playing right now. So it's one nothing for bad here. I guess he won that last game. And mage versus mage, it's going to be a slow match. Seeing if this is, this is the last match left. No, there's still another one in the bottom. Okay. Out comes Ziva. And Bad really pushing top there with his uh, legendary Caitlyn. There's a pet on the Zeus and Skyver to clean up. And here comes Velvasar. And Chris regains his composure. Bad with a two health advantage. It could come down to that. Out comes the war totem and the uh, meditation. Rune on Smashy. And a legendary emperor. Hoping for a crit, and he does. And here comes this Archangel that Bad's been running. Great card. I run it too. It's fantastic. Birdie can't fly over. Birdie's sad. Birdie dug. Let that Angel go through. Guy, we're doing some damage to uh, Kalista. And King Vel in the bottom lane. 
nothing super exciting so far. Chris going to lose a couple more health here. Oh, six actually with the crit. That has been stolen the whole tournament that I've uh, seen so far. And a pet by bad on the Zeus. Interesting. Just blocking that lane completely off. There's still six minutes on the clock. It's not nearly over. Chris should have put a Tanwin in his deck. But Chris uh, losing HP to Val very quickly. There's a Rune and a Tempest, but it can't get rid of the King Val on the bottom. Pushing through top, though. Using Old Fagger to tank some damage. Bad still. Oh, no, not stalling out so much no more. All bad has to do is push bottom right now. Do you push top bottom or do you dig top? That's the dilemma. Or do you just stall? You just stall with pets. Can't pet the villain. Oh, well done, mage. If Chris wins, that's the MVP right there. Finishing off. Valen, or uh, King Val, rather. And there's the crit on the War Totem. And now uh, Valen's going to be in Bad's face, and there's nothing he can do about it. HP advantage is shifting. Petrify on the Kangu, Sky Reaver. Going to block the Desperate Soul with the Cane. And it's now tied for HP. And it's now Advantage Chris. And here's Bale, Tesselos, and Cane for bad. Now it's Chris's turn to stall. Looks like Chris is doing very well with that Vel in Bad's face. There's... There's literally nothing you can do about it. Scorch on the test loss. Another Scorch. And out comes Riley. Not going to output nearly as much damage as Velen. Kane dead, but not gone. He'll come back. That top lane just absolutely clogged. This this is a very clogged 1v1. Oh, and the spirit to try and get rid of Velen. Too little, too late, I'm thinking. And the zappy zap. Clears out Riley. Almost the spear as well. Bad down to 18 HP. 2 minutes, 43 seconds on the clock. And finally, Kane is dead. Those Thunder Mage is doing work for Chris. Bad trying to push with Desperate Soul and Zombies. Can he crit here? He does. Now Chris should have been stalling. And he'll start now. As he realizes the predicament he's in once the Velen is dead. He's going to need some Thunder Mage action to the face.
Oh, that armor! Did not see that coming. Chris takes huge control of the field with an Armageddon. Well-timed. And just a minute 26 to go, and I don't think Bad can push enough. And Chris just uh, Chris just taking his time now. Well deserved after Bad tried to stall and did stall last game. Nothing against you personally, Bad. I just don't like the stall strategy every game. And that's that's it. Well played. And tricky through there. And one more game, Bad versus Chris, and then it'll be the final four. Time to stretch. Oh. Tyler been to broadcast three hours and 44 minutes. So I'll have to edit out the beginning part. And then I'll be posting the finals on YouTube, hopefully, in the next couple of days. I'm going to be very busy this weekend. So no promises. Very busy with European... 1v1, American 1v1, which I'm playing in. Then 2v2 tomorrow morning or afternoon for European. And then 2v2s at night. And then Guild Showdown at night tomorrow. Star Sunday. Team Mustache. And here they go. There's a war totem for bad. Comes down to this final match. An instant pet by Chris. Doesn't want to deal with that at all. There's the Alice and Chris's uh, signature Elven Arc Thunder Mages. Bad down to 50 HP and the armor real quickly. And the Arc Mage survives. Out come Romeo and Juliet for Chris. Got damage on him early. Chris packed an arm again last time. Nothing to stop him from packing on this game. This time, Bad will be packing some Thunder Mages of his own. And Zeus. And the Arma. Zeus going to block, though. Zeus going to block again. And Chris going to take 
quite a bit of damage. Almost enough to make up for uh, Fad's HP. Spear should deal with Kalista. And it does. Now two health to Chris. That's critical. As we've seen, these games go on to stall fests till the very end. And another Tempest block. It's, uh, wow, lots of blocks. Game of blocks. You're exactly right. There's the pet on the Yumi. And it's Bad's turn. There goes she forward. She forward gonna hit Chris in the face. Face make up the difference. Three health advantage bad. And Chris not gonna play anything bottom. Holding cards. Probably another Arma coming. Seven minutes left, plenty of time. And a pet on the Chief Warden. Out comes Ziva and, and Riley the White Witch. And there's the rune. Riley going to bane down. Does Bad have a Tempest to deal with that? Six health advantage for Bad right now. It's just a different matter. Like you guys are saying, you don't see Odin very often. I just, I'm blown away how different it is. There's way more spears. People just play differently. It's awesome. And Ziva going to hurt itself due to the uh, cane there. Still health advantage and an Armageddon by bad. But there's a block on the Riley. Fortunate for Chris there. And out comes Godlike Freena. Chris going to need to block. Ooh, Petrify. That's good enough. Still going to need to block the Riley. It's a saving grace right there. And another crit. Two HP difference. And one because of the sudden death. Five minutes left. Anyone's game. Out comes Bale, and Bale starts making zombies. Does Chris have another pet for Bale is the question. Not right away. But he will play a Fenris and get rid of Kane. Hopefully. Good block. And it does make crits. Health advantage bad by three. Is very close here. Chris going to need to deal with the bail pretty quick. Romeo and Juliet gone due to nukes. And there goes old faggot. Just bail left. And Fenner Scritz, that's it for bail. Nope. Just Chuck Testa here. Bail should finish off Fenner. And there's that Archangel. Bale making a zombie. One health difference right now. Advantage, Chris. Still four minutes left, and out come bat, comes Bad's Riley. Even playing field. Whoever's turn ends... Oh, there's Lightning Tempest. And a crit on the bail, and it's going to be finished off. Advantage, Chris. Two health advantage. Four minutes left. Out comes the Desert Soul in the top lane for Chris. Going to block down that spear. Here comes the th arc th Thunder Archmage, uh, Chris's specialty. And Bad's looking in rough shape here. 
He's got nine cards left. Chris has six. That's where he may get him. Riley down to one HP. One HP is enough. Queen had two turns left. Doesn't matter. 14 health going to die unless it's healed up. And there goes the White Witch. This is what Bad's hoping for. Bad is hoping for Caitlyn to save the day. And it could be enough. It probably will be enough. Oh no, the Alvin Thunder Archmage is just critting bat, hitting Bad in the face. Two more health. Five HP difference. This is real close. It's going to come down to the wire. Three minutes left. Bad up to 24. Chris at 27. And a nice crit there on that angel. And another face shot. Wow. Elven Thunder Arc Mage. You're on fire. There goes Old Faggot. And Petrify on the bell. 21 26. Two and a half minutes to go. Fire Rune. Can he finish Caitlyn? He's taking his time. I don't think he can. Gonna have to hope for the Elven Thunder Archmage again. Nope, hit Smashy. 20 to 26. 22 to 26. And that life rune expires, and Chris has a three hit point advantage with two minutes to go. Birdie powering up. And it's petted. Bad has one card left. Chris with one card left. And that looks like it's game. I don't know what Bad has left in his hand, but there's not really much he can do. Three health difference. It's not over yet. He could pull out something like a myth or... Uh, oh, there's a crit on the Archmage. Or a Void Step. But just a Desperate Soul, and that's not enough. See how far along the missed times are. Wow. They're almost in their finals. So what do you say? I watch the finals in the missed lands or stick to city? Final four. Let me know. What do you want? Okay, I'll be switching over to the finals on the other server when uh, they have... Oops. We'll see what the score is here. So this is uh, Deathalos versus Omicron. Omicron, I love your name. From uh, the Mistlands. 
and Democrons pushing real hard. Only thing stopping is the Freena. Freena versus Freena. Were these guys 2v2 partners or something? Oh, it's 1-1, so finals will be on soon in the server. Until they're on, I'm going to feature... Let's see, Mage, Mage. It's going to be a long game. Mage Ranger. What do you guys? Tricky versus Juliana. Chris versus Jill. I'll wait for the finals to begin on the other server and watch. Watch them when they happen. Tricky just timing down the clock here. Looks like everyone's watching uh, Macros and Juliana. Macros pushing real hard. Let's see what Juliana's card count is. Six. Fista hasn't hit yet, so he can't heroic. Which is most unfortunate. Juliana doesn't have a play. Going to hope on the spear. And it's going to be a tie. No crits. Or one crit. Wow, do math, man. HP advantage macros. Just switch over quickly. There's two and a half minutes left here. So there's going to be... Democron's going to go through and there's going to be finals in two minutes. Out comes bail, Macros' bail, and the wing damper to counter it from Juliana. Another long matches is Judge Caitlin. No spikes really making it too far. And immediately the uh, wing damper is petrified. Out comes Cesar's soul. Now, Juliana pushing back, but that bottom lane with uh, Desperate Soul and Zeus. Zeus coming back in four turns. Here comes G4 and Aurelia. Going to hit the... Uh, excuse me, Caitlyn. And... Uh, ooh! Out comes Danica. Haven't seen that yet. And a pet on the Desperate Soul. This is a slower match. Going to see if the Mistlands has started yet. No, not yet. It's Agilino 8 versus Omicron 8. We will see shortly. As this is going to go on for quite a while here. Macros just running down the clock. Danica almost dead, but the Flame Dragon King going to tank. Ooh, Juliana with a godlike smash of Rolk. And see if the mist lens. Oh, hello. That's me. Nope, hasn't started yet.
Judge the Naya. And finals are on in the Mistlands. Oh, Angelino spiking against a power of Omicron. And there goes the, there goes the Myth. Mai at five eight, looking like Angelino has advantage here. Omicron can't do much, and there's the Swift raid going to do at least fifteen up to thirty damage here. And Omicron down to 14. Just drew no counter. One crit and he's dead. And this is over. That was real quick. Angelino won nothing. Let's look at the other match. Chris and Tricky. Tricky down to 28 HP. And Chris holding the line with his godlike bell. Chris taking his time here down to seven cards. Tricky at 11. Oh, he's just trying to run down the clock now. Looks like everyone stalls when necessary. And see if the finals are back on. They should be soon. In the missed lands. Don't want to miss a thing. Don't want to miss a thing. And here we go. Power versus Spike. Completely switched turnaround. And there goes the Maya. And the Alice. A life rune on the Maya. Out comes Anubis and Loki. Interesting to see Loki in a spike. Or is it a spike? It looks like a spike. There's Angelina with a deadly blow. What will Omicron do? Oh, Plan B. Haven't seen that in a long time. And Therry Maxis on the field for Angelino trying to block the lanes. Deadly blow either lane here. Nope. Reset the countdown so that's not going to happen. Powering up is Anubis. With that double heroic and Kane in the top lane. Omicron's going to have to go bottom now. Does he, have a de does he have a deadly blow to use two lanes? Yes, he does. There, he Here he goes. One Darius. And a myth. Here comes Swift Raid. Does he have another one? On the Darius. A third Swift Raid. 
Jesus, and that's game. I want to see Spike versus Spike for for the final match. That would be interesting. Looks like Juliana won. And I think that Chris won. I'm just going to wait on the uh, finals here. Angelino and Omicron. That was uh, one spiked, the other spiked. Now both should spike. Or both power. Either way. Spam, refresh. Here we go. Let's see. Angelino with Spike. And Omicron with Spike. Here we go. Woo! This is going to be completely different to the City Gates final. It comes in Alice. Alice hits Omicron in the face for seven damage. Ranger versus Ranger. Spike versus Spike. Final, final. We're the godlike card. Here's the Darius with the life rune. There goes Darius with a crit on Angelino. I think that Ohm is going to win, hey? Ohm with his sword. And his. Here comes the Myth. Swift Raid on the Myth. The double Swift Raid. 20, 40. Five health left. And here's the counter myth, and the Maya, and the Loki. Swift Raid, Swift Raid, Swift Raid, Swift Raid. Needs a double crit? No, no double crit. And a crit for the myth for the game. Holy crap. Congrats to Omicron8 for winning that. I want to see him open the pack. See what he gets. Still waiting. Oh, runner up pack for Sensei Klista. Oh, so he's not going to open it up. So back to the other server. Where Macros and Juliana are still going. 
and Chris and Tricky are having a spear fight. Just for fun. Chris down to 6 HP. What is going on here with this? These samurais. Samurai warriors. Oh, wow. And he did open it. And uh, Omicron got a god like Soran. And yeah, that's that's that. Not bad. Exciting to watch that though. Back to Chris and Tricky. Tricky is looking like he is just stomping right here. Absolutely stomping. I don't know what Chris is doing, just playing elves. He's playing like a full nimble deck. What is going on? Did Tricky manage to win the first game or something? Was I wrong? Yes, he did. So Tricky threw. I don't know what Chris was doing there. I guess trying something else after he lost. Soren's not bad. Macros running a Dante. That's the next god like that I'm gonna get. It's a Dante. He's amazing. Macros with uh the villain in Juliana's face. It seems like the same story, Mage versus Mage, just push Velen down the field and get get him in your opponent's face and win game. Velen versus Velen here. Juliana at a disadvantage for HP though by a lot. It's one nothing for Jill. So this could go to game three. Probably will go to game three. As Jill down to sixteen HP. And uh, Jill surrenders there, as she knew she was dead. So it's 1-1. One, one. Let's see, Tricky went through... Plumber, Chris, went through Chris, Plumber, Kalister, and Mike to tag. Macros has gone through uh, a bingo nut. That was just a stomp. Scratchy, Derpy Cat, and now he's there. Jillian has gone through. Devil, Seth, and Ryan. Julianne has not had an easy path. Been very close to losing and getting knocked out. But had the advantage in this uh, series here. And now it's 1-1. We are now four hours and 16 minutes into the broadcast. I officially have no life. No, I'm just kidding. I love this game. Here they go. And by the way, I'm going to do the five uh, gold giveaway after uh, five.
final, the final match. Who do I think it will be in the final? It's a good question. I think Macros will go through. But my heart lies with Jill. Out comes the uh, Dante Quick Song. This is going to be a fairly lengthy match as it's Mage versus Mage. Well, 10 minutes at most, I guess. Nine minutes now. And an Armageddon already by Macros. That was quick. Seven cards each. 67 health each. Champion source each. Mages each. Just taking their time. Out comes the Romeo and Juliet combo. Just give me a second. Just adjust it here. And a counter armor. Mac with six cards, Juliana with seven. Not as exciting as the finals on the Mistlands. That was uh, quite something. Here comes Juliana's godlike emperor. Both on champions' horses. I don't know why I think Macris is going to win. I don't know why I think he's got an advantage. Out comes that Danica. That was quick. I guess all that Stalin. Stalin on the field. What is Jilly gonna do, Juliana going to do about the Danica? Max still has a card advantage and a field advantage. Did Dante come back? We'll never know. Danica making more whelps. Ooh, and Juliana hoping for the unpetrify on uh, Winged Emperor. Juliana's bottom lane advances, and it doesn't want to cure on the uh, statue anymore. Macros with a counter. Judge Caitlin and Aphrodina. And it's got some dragons in Juliana's face. 69 HP to 61. Six minutes left. And another arm again. Velen with a reflect. Danica still not dead. Desperate Soul still alive. And Macros with a 20 HP advantage and a pet on the Desperate Soul. He's looking very good right now. Does Juliana have it? Oh, meditation. Got that Arma back. Danica's still staying alive thanks to uh, tankiness of creatures, but she's gone now. Macros with field advantage. Juliana with seven cards, though. Macros with five. Hello, C. Waxter. 
Julian in a bit of a pickle here. Marco's taking his time. Four minutes left. Four and a half. Juliana can't get rid of the, uh, the two, three flame whelp in her face. Ah, there you go. Spear's going to get rid of it. Or that. Juliana with spiel advantage. Macros with the card. Seven cards. And Desperate Soul going through. Charging on to... Just another Velen. I was digging for an Arma, but I was wrong. Juliana hoping that the uh, Thunder will keep hitting Macros in the face here. And it does. Out comes Old Fager to put a stop to that. And Zeus. And bye bye, Mage. Huge advantage for Macros here in the life department. He's got his better life. Uh, pet on the Zeus. Sudden death in Zeus. There goes Old Fagger. And a crit rune on Old Faggot. Here comes the Elven Rebel. Juliana slowly advancing the line. Macros has six cards, though. Six to seven. You want to let that Velen through? Yes, so. There's a zap. Make sure that uh, King Val doesn't come back. He's got eight turns left. Macros not messing around with that boss Ragnar. And there's an immediate pat by Juliana. Macros with 15 HP advantage right now. Two and a half minutes to go. 16 cards left for Macros and 13 left for Juliana. Mage versus Mage stall. Armageddon. Still Juliana. Another Armageddon. Double Armageddon in one turn. What a lineup. And the Archmage for her face damage. That's a bit of a turnaround. More pets for Juliana. This is just stall, stall, stall. I would have brought my void step, but I guess these guys don't have void steps. It's close. 8 HP difference. It's one crit from uh, Alvin Thar Archmage in the face. And Armageddon for Macros for one creature. Juliana sitting with 5 cards. Macros sitting with 5 cards. Plus a Dragonkin on the field. In these situations, you want to bring a myth. Juliana going to try and kill that dragonkin. And does. With a little luck. Here comes the Freja. Narcos just blocking lanes. And there's the Zappy Zap. And the Bell. Crit. Crit. No crit. 5 HP difference is coming down to the wire. 59 seconds left. Can the Elven Thunder Mage hit in the face? 14-14. Who's going to win here? It's a matter of whose turn it ends on right now. This going to be ending turns and ending turns. Does someone have a Riley? Who wins if they tie? Macro should end right away. Oh no, he played it well. And victory goes to Juliana. What the hell happened there? No way. 
on a sudden death's high. Him happened. Who wins the tie break on a tie break? And two minutes till final start. Holy crap. So the person who starts loses. Because you go first, you lose. Never thought I would see that. Great comeback, Juliana. I don't know what the tiebreaker was, but, uh, wow, that's something else. Poor macros, that's all I can say. Poor macros. Oh, what a way to lose. What a way to win. Out comes the Terriel right away, and uh, the Thunder Archmages that have been very common in this tournament. Frankie's got some. It's all about Bane and lightning damage here. Lightning damage and Bane. That's what this is going to look like. There goes the pet. Oh man, I'm just uh just need to calm down from the last match. That was just something else. Add some excitement to my life. Whew. Wow. There's a heal for Alexandra and Velen and Alexandra are gonna walk forward here. Juliana's turn. Let's see the cards. Four cards. Tricky's four cards. Huge field advantage goes tricky right now. Out comes the Smasher Ralt to block the top lane. And that Archmage doing more work than I thought it ever would. Just camping in the back and just doing four damage. Hmm. Never would have thought. Juliana's got like Smasher Ralt. Tank in the top lane. And the mage trying to zap it down unsuccessfully. Juliana holding cards now. Seven cards. Tricky with six. Health advantage to Tricky by six. Feel advantage to Tricky. Both holding cards. Know that Armageddon is coming.
just a matter of time. Tricky now with a 16 life advantage. You know, despite all the other people having all these godlikes, Tricky has managed to finagle his way into the finals, and his strategy is just paying off. Props for that, so far anyways. Out comes Riley. That 28-1 smash roll, and the void step. Void step the game changer. Volante the game changer. Tricky gonna have to do something about that void step real fast. There's a lot of oh, there's a crit. That's 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 how you deal with it. Quite a bit of time on the clock still. Five cards apiece. Just inform that Tricky has a godlike deadly blow. That is awesome. But I don't see like any of the power cards that Juliana has, but still managed to make it to the finals. There goes the zap on Chief Warden. Jill is a VIP zero. Oh, seriously? And Jill's starting to get a field advantage here, pushing down the line. 13 health advantage for Tricky. And now just 6 advantage for Tricky. Got 5 cards though, there's the Kalista. There's the Kalista. Should take care of the winged emperor pretty quickly. He's just flying and flying and flying. Couple grits, it's gone. Nope, not enough. What will Jill do? Pet on the Kalista. Not surprised. And out comes the godlike archangel. Haven't seen that yet. Four health difference now. Riley doing work. Three health difference. Looks like Jill is coming back here. Two health difference and Judge Caitlin on the field. Two and a half minutes on the clock.
and the, uh, the Afro hears a statue that promptly dies. It's tied for Alex Julian. I'm going to take the advantage of this turn. And a minute 46 left. Romeo and Juliet in tricky space, and it's all but over now. Romeo and Juliet just trying to finish off uh, Tricky. He's down 9 HP. And it may not go till the end. I'm still just shocked that Juliana won last game on a tie HP at 12. Another cure for Afro. I'm going to go private. And Juliana takes this game. I'll be ready for a nap after this. Just joining us, it's the finals between Tricky Shadow and Juliana. Juliana VIP zero, Tricky Low VIP, I'm told. And one nothing for Juliana. And we're live. Still power versus power. Not like the Mistlands, spike versus spike, just excitement in the finals. I give advantage to mage in power matches if uh, Ranger doesn't screen that out cards. I mean, power matches are fun and everything. It's so I wonder why there are so many on the server and that matches don't end before the time's up. Anyways, back to the match. Out comes uh, Ziva to contest the spear there in the bottom lane. Velen and Deadly Blow and Juliet. There goes Romeo and Juliet. Alice and... Please, I'm blanking. Alice and the Battle Abyss finishing them off. Juliana taking her time. Going to try and finish that Battle Abyss, but can't. That may end up being costly. Uh, 
There goes Juliana with the fire rune. And the pet on the abyss. We're now four hours and 43 minutes in. Advantage HP Juliana by 14. That's quite a lot. Taking her time. And the zappy zap. Bell in advancing, creating tricky in the face. Widens it to 20. There goes the Archmage zapping off that spear and Cleese to doing their work. There's the Meditation. And Tricky with Field Advantage. Juliana with Card Advantage here. Never know with a Mage when they're holding Armageddon, though. That's the problem. An 8 cred in Juliana's face trying to shift the balance the other way. Out comes a Cain. Cain going to finish off that Angel. And out comes a cane for Tricky. And the Archmage cannot finish cane because of a block. That is a key moment. And Juliana stall. Seven cards, looking like an armor coming soon. And down goes the cane. Only an 8 HP advantage. When is your armor going to come, Juliana? Or do you not have one? Maybe not. Bye-bye, Kalista. Tricky going to get some help here. Juliana down to 18 HP before the Arma. Might be too little too late. And look, I'm giving this one to Tricky. This is a fast match compared to the other ones. Not over yet, but not nearly. But uh, Juliana down to 8 HP, and Tricky has 7 cards. There's another Arma. What are you going to do, Juliana, to make up that difference there? It's just an astounding HP advantage. 40 with uh, five minutes to go. And another Arma. Go for the crit for the finish? No. Four health left for Juliana. And a failed Zappy Zap. And that, King Val just refuses to die. Juliana barely hanging on here. Ooh, the block that would have finished the game. And sudden death going to finish it if I, these two guys don't. And Juliana is taking her time with an Arma. And that's the most Armas I've ever seen in a game four. Not over yet. How the hell? There is no way you can pull this off. No. That's done.
Can the Thunder Archmage finish it? No, but he stuns again. And there we go. That is game, finally. Stalling out as long as possible with the Angel. And it's 1-1, one, one, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I'm smelling my arms. I'm just waiting for the last match to start. Spam refresh. And here we go. Looking power versus power again. After this match, I'll wait for them to open the packs and then do the gold giveaway. And a crit right off the bat by Tricky. Ooh, here comes Jill with a heal. And even it right back up. The double crits. No more. Even HP. Here comes Old Fager, Sensei, and Battle Abyss. Tricky pushing both lanes here. Juliana holding cards up to six. Gotta take care of the battle abyss though. That thing gets dangerous. Out comes the Maximus, and now Juliana is pushing, pushing top real hard. At least in the bottom though. I wonder if Juliana's a pet for that or what. Here comes Riley for some Bane. Ooh, tons of crits. On Kali. And the Tempest. Oh, leave it to the Elven to take care of the Kali. Advantage Tricky. Six life. Smashy gonna go forward though. Smashy gonna smash. Three life advantage for Tricky. Six cards though. Gonna have to leave that lane, top lane alone.
the rune on the Riley. Liliana takes her time. Only a four life difference. It's pretty close. Mage against mage. Seven cards for Juliana. And Juliana's mage is doing more work right now. Still a four life advantage. Another arc mage out. And the crit. Comes a desperate soul to block that mage. And Archangel Maximus doing absolutely nothing to Tricky. Once it gets to the front, that's all. You've got to wait and play the shit defensively. Another <laughs> Thunder Archmage out. Hitting him in the face. 51-51. Just remind you of a match. 12-12. Six minutes left here. And that Desperate Soul going to be taken care of and not coming back. Juliana with seven cards. Tricky with six. When is the Ar When are the Armageddons coming? I think she ran too many last time. But... It's all about timing. Nope, no damage to the face. Still tied up at 51 apiece. And the elf can't seem to hit face. What is Tricky going to play? Does Tricky have more Bane or what? Seven cards and holding. Did it disconnect? Nope. Going to dig and play a spear. I don't understand the amount of spears and stuff. I'd like to try my deck against these guys. I wish I could. And the elf goes for face now. Juliana with five life advantage. Takes care of that, Riley. Four minutes, 50 seconds to go in the final match in City Gates. VIP zero against a low VIP. And there's a crit with the elf on Tricky's face. And a huge advantage for Juliana now. Tricky's in a tough, tough, tough spot with seven cards in his hand. Comes a desperate soul to try and desperately block. And there's Caitlyn. That's just what Tricky needs. Juliana should pet that as soon as possible, or just darn it. There's a pet. And the meditation. It's looking like it's Juliana's game to lose right now. This is a very tricky situation to get out of. And another crit by the elf in Tricky's face. He's down to 24. Three and a half minutes left. Just looking like a matter of time until Tricky dies. Still holding seven cards, though. He's got to for the Armageddon counter arma. Juliana in quite a position of power. And finally, that Archmage is going to die. Tricky with field advantage. Juliana with a card advantage, looks like. Tricky with two minutes to pull off a miracle. And a pat on the desperate soul and an arm again. That cleans up everything. And bye bye Kane. This match is looking pretty finished here. Tricky just barely holding on. 
heal up with uh, Judge Caitlin, but it's uh, not Judge Caitlin, Judge Alexandra. But it's too little, too late, as there are only two minutes left to go. Petrify is on Desperate Soul, nine turns, seven turns on Callie, and five turns on Caitlin. If it was a shorter time, then Ricky would have a chance to heal up. Another Swift Death. And there goes Old Fagger. Said Tricky, just trying to hold on here. 18 HP left. Going to do some damage finally with Juliet. Not a whole lot, but three is enough. Give hope. Joe with the Lightning Tempest. Tricky's got six cards left. Six cards left to play with. And here comes the Bane. Twenty health advantage, and the Bane is gone. No more Bane. Juliana having a pet party, and that's it. That's time. Congratulations, Juliana. Uh, it's almost time to do the gold giveaways. Now let's see what she got, and then we can do the giveaway. Ha! Huh. Oh, that's so painful! Oh my god! Oh, I'm crying inside. I'm... Oh. That is the most ruthless pack open that I've seen. Ouch. Sorry, that just hurts. Give me a second here, and we'll do the giveaway. Just got to find the command. Okay, I'm ready to go. Okay. 